What's up, YouTubers? It's Brian Hicks here. It's a quick, quick, quick little video about train ECM motors that they use on their uh, HVAC blowers. It's a permanent magnet DC motor, the driver board, and these SKF BB1 zero three two one bearings that are junk they last about eight or ten years and they fail if you go on google or you go to your, try to go to your bearing support bearing supply place like applied industrial or fastenal they're going to tell you they can't get this bearing but dimensions are 40 millimeter by 12 millimeter with a half inch shaft it's a specialty bearing that BB10321 is a customer part number for a 6203 bearing with a half inch bore. So this is a 6203 RLD-8. It's the same bearing, different brand. Here's the box for comparison. It's actually a 6203 2RLD-8. 8-C3 it doesn't give you all that information on there um it's not a video about pressing bearings or anything this is just me saying that I saw that there was a need for figuring out how to get the proper bearings for these and I decided to fill it with this video so basically if you have a train ECM motor Or I think any other motor that's similar to this, um, the 603 bearing is generally what you want. It's actually funny when I was originally, um, you know, looking for bearings for this motor that I discovered, or I was actually pretty sure when I pulled it that it was a 6203 uh, motor. I mean, bearing in the first place. But anyway just thought I would make this video and hope that it helps somebody uh, who has uh, problems with their ACM motor because uh, we'll make one uh, quick comment about this if you have an ECM motor that won't start sometimes it's not always this board sometimes the bearings are going bad and they, these don't have a whole lot of starting torque because the way they start is, is they go back and forth, back and forth, and they go back and forth more and more until they can get a full revolution, and then they start pulsing, and then they get faster and faster and faster. So that's how that works. Because you, there is no directional winding here. It's all just straight vertical coils. Uh, and there's three wires, and there's three phases. That these him board creates is I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen 16, 17, 18 coils, so there's six coils per phase, so you've got three in there, and you've got three poles on the rotor, so you basically are able to get your starting torque completely by magnetism, and the control board energizing individual windings to get at different positions of the rotor to get it to go and the way that it does it is very cool and it saves some energy anyway thank you for watching and remember 6203 RLD-8 manufactured by Peer P-E-E-R thank you